Hi everybody, this is Phil in the Wildlife Files and earlier this week I received a private message asking me for my opinion on the culling of grey squirrels and if possible could I make a video about it. Well those of you who know me will know that I am against any form of culling to any bird, animal or mammal or whatever. It does not work. The grey squirrels were introduced here into the UK in the late 1870s. They are stronger, more fiercer and they will win the fight for food over their little brothers and sisters, the red squirrel. Now some people are saying the grey squirrel has wiped out the red because it carries that little squirrel pox virus. Surely we can inoculate the reds against this virus. Grey squirrels only live five to seven years. That's not very long. And to be poisoned, gassed, snared, trapped, shot, really does get my back up. Right up until the 1970s, you could get a license to kill red squirrels. Because back in the 1970s, the red squirrels were the baddies. Now, it's the grey squirrel. But wait, there's a newcomer to the equation. Now, there is the black squirrel, which is much stronger and tougher, more hardier than the grey squirrel. And people are saying now, maybe the grey squirrel will get what they gave to the red squirrel. Well, no, it's not going to happen. Culling should be outlawed and stopped. So come on people, let's face it. Are we culling humans? Because we're taking over every inch of space that these creatures had as a home before. We're cutting down trees. We're turning green spots into bricks and mortar. Do you really think they need to be cold. Humans need to be culled. Now this is part of the biodiversity program. If you keep taking links out of that chain, that chain will be rendered useless. Not only will it affect other wildlife, it will ultimately affect us all. Okay, so let's say in 20 years time, new scientific evidence is brought forward to suggest that it's not the grey squirrel or the black squirrel that caused the demise of the red squirrel, but humans. The new farming methods, destruction of habitat. What then? Because by then, it is too late for all the thousands, hundreds of thousands of grey squirrels trapped, snared and murdered. The RSPCA are against it. They've said it doesn't work and they said it's ethnically dubious to kill one species to save another. I know it's a native English squirrel, the red squirrel, and that the grey squirrel was introduced to the UK. But we need to stop killing animals. We need to stop killing birds. We need to stop destroying the environment. We need to wake up. We need to look. We need to listen. And we need to learn. Culling does not work. And as I said, I am totally against it. I hope that's answered my friend's question on my opinions of the culling of grey squirrels. And remember, it's not just grey squirrels. We have less than nine days left to the outcome of the badger here. Now, I love the grey squirrel and I love the red squirrel. But then again, I like all animals, any shape, size or form. 
birds and insects. I love nature. Who are we to take their lives away? It's not on. So I will always, always be totally against it.